All right, the article we are reading is News Debate Pajama Game. Should wearing pajamas in public be banned? A government official in one Louisiana community is tired of seeing pajamas on parade. Michael Williams, a commissioner in Cato Parish, a Louisiana parish is similar to a county, is pushing for a ban on wearing sleepwear in public. Williams got the idea for the law after spotting several shoppers at a local department store wearing pajama pants that he considered too revealing. Williams has stated that the indecent dress is destroying the moral, the moral fiber of our community. Supporters of banning pajamas or other kinds of revealing clothing in public argue that such attire could be offensive. Many also think that a certain level of formality should be required in public places. Those who disagree with the proposed ban argue that wearing pajamas in public is not a big deal. They say that such a ban violates people's freedom of expression. Should pajamas be banned in public? Current events student reporters Anuva Gowal and Elizabeth Duis each tried on a side. Dress up. Pajamas should be banned in public places because they are bedtime attire that needs to stay inside the house. Different clothes serve different purposes. Have you ever seen someone wear a swimsuit to a business meeting? No. Then why wear pajamas to a public place where they do not belong? Additionally, in our society, a certain level of decency is expected in public places. Pajamas can be inappropriate and revealing. Such clothing can offend the sentiments of people who do not expect to see such a sight when they step outside. Finally, what you wear speaks a lot about you. It hardly takes any time to change out of pajamas. I think it's a shame that our society has become so lazy that people cannot put on clothing to leave the house, Nancy Duty, a teacher at Wardlaw Hartage School in Edison, New Jersey, says. I feel that it says a lot about a person's self-esteem when they choose to not look their best. The way in which one dresses can also reflect his or her behavior. Well-dressed individuals usually have better manners and exhibit better behavior. PJ Party Banning the wearing of pajamas in public is going too far. This country has freedom of expression, and restricting what clothing people can wear is taking away some of that freedom. A government telling its citizens what to wear would also open up doors for other unfair rules. Once you are being told what to wear, who's to say that you won't be told what to eat? That is a dangerous line that shouldn't be crossed. Second, clothing gives people a way to communicate how they feel. Taking that away would hinder people's ability to express themselves. 7th grader Grace Allen from Crescent City, Illinois, agrees. It's your own decision what you put on in the morning, she says, not somebody else's. Lastly, the only reason that this might be taken away in the first place is because some people are being irresponsible with the things they wear. People need to realize that not everyone is behaving this way. There is a time when people need to take responsibility for their actions. The issue is not about pajamas, really. It's about freedom, and I say freedom stays. Question number one. What is government official Michael Williams pushing to ban? A. Wearing sleepwear in public. B. Wearing business attire in public. C. Wearing uniforms in public. D. Wearing swimwear in public. Number two. In the passage, the author presents two sides in the argument about the issue of banning pajamas in public. What is one reason for opposing the ban? A. Wearing pajamas or other kinds of revealing clothing in public is offensive. B. A certain level of formality should be required in public places. C. Pajamas can be inappropriate and revealing. D. Banning pajamas in public violates people's freedom of expression. Number three. People who wear pajamas in public might be thought of as rude. What evidence from the text supports this conclusion? A, the country has freedom of expression and restricting what clothing people can wear is taking away some of that freedom. B, the way in which one dresses can also reflect their behavior. Well-dressed individuals usually have better manners and exhibit better behavior. C, clothing gives people a way to communicate how they feel. Taking that away would hinder people's ability to express themselves. D, Williams got the idea for the law after spotting several shoppers at a local department store wearing pajama pants that he considered too revealing. Question four, according to the text, why might banning pajamas in public be dangerous? A, it could make it easier for the government to take more freedom away from people. B, it could encourage people to wear other kinds of inappropriate clothing in public. C, it could force people to pay more money for other kinds of clothing. D, it could make people be responsible with the things they wear in public.
Question number five. What is the main idea of this text? A, Michael Williams is pushing for a ban on wearing pajamas in public. B, pajamas offend the sentiments of people who do not expect to see such a sight when they step outside. C, there is a debate about whether people should be banned from wearing pajamas in public. D, restricting what clothing people can wear takes away their freedom of expression. Question six, read these sentences from the text. Have you ever seen someone wear a swimsuit to a business meeting? No. Then why wear pajamas to a public place where they do not belong? Why might the author have asked these questions? A, to emphasize that certain clothes are not appropriate in certain situations. B, to suggest that wearing pajamas in public is a form of freedom of expression. C, to draw the reader's attention away from the ban on wearing pajamas in public. D, to encourage the reader to choose the clothes he or she wears in public carefully. Question seven, choose the answer that best completes the sentence. Many people think that a certain level of formality should be required in public places. Other people think that no one should be able to tell you what to wear when you go out. A, since, B, however, C, although, D, because. Question eight, according to some people, what would letting a government tell its citizens what to wear open doors for?